Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, my name's Devon and I am the creator of Find Your Beauty, which is a blog. So today I thought I'd show you my take on a classic red lip and what I did to achieve this look. If you want to try it out for yourself or just to see how I did it, then please keep watching and I will show you a step by step. First of all, I'm gonna moisturize my face and I'm just doing that with the Nivea Creme Moisturizer. I think I've spoken about it before. I've had this moisturiser for absolutely, like, just years. Not this one, like, exactly, but, you know, I've been repurchasing it for years, um, and I just really like how thick it is, really. So next I'm going to go in with a bit of a primer, I use the uh, Rimmel's Fix and Perfect um, primer. Um, primer, I just kind of bounce off different primers occasionally, I don't always use them but sometimes I do, it just really depends on what I'm doing, what I'm wearing the makeup for, um, yeah if I'm going out or going out for a meal maybe then I'll use a primer more but if I'm just kind of heading out to do errands and such, going for coffee or something like that, then primers are not essential. So next I'm gonna go in with a foundation. I use the, currently using the Rimmel's Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Foundation in Ivory, and I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques brush here, and I'm just gonna pop that on. This brush has kind of had it. The, um, the bristles are kind of coming out on one end, but I've had it for, a few years I'd say now, so, or oh, a couple years since it came out, I think I was, yeah, it's, it's got to be over a year that I've had this brush now, um, and if you think I use it nearly every day, that's not bad going, really. I think from the constant use and the washing and things like that, it's just kind of, the glue is coming unstuck, but otherwise, it's good, it still does the job whilst I'm waiting for my delivery of my new brush. But I did have a look and they don't seem to make these anymore, which is really disappointing. This is the buffing brush, I couldn't find it on Feel Unique. Um, so I've gone for a different brand, but there we go. So I'm just blending that in, make sure you get down the neck as well, so I fake tan. So it's just trying to get the face and the neck, all one colour in between applications, so, and just make sure everything's evenly blended. So that is looking pretty good. Next I'm going to conceal, I use the Max Factor Pan Stick, which I believe is actually a foundation, but it was with all the concealers, so never mind, I just use that under my eyes, a little bit on the cupid's bow. And on the chin, I don't have any blemishes at the moment, so if I did, I would be applying it like that. And I'm then going to use the Real Techniques setting brush just to kind of buff that in. And I just, I have that in fair, so I just go under the eyes in like a triangle shape, just you know, the classic. You know, I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not a makeup artist, so. You know, I just do what I feel comfortable and what I like doing, I guess, is the, the best way to explain it and what I think works for me and what I learn from other people. So, yeah, it might not work for you or you might not agree with what I'm doing, but if it works for me, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. So next I'm going to do some contouring. I use the um, Topshop the Topshop Mohawk bronzer, which you've seen loads, and the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I'm just going to dip that in there. And I'm just going to contour the cheekbones. Which I know looks really, really dark on camera. But that's because you've got a very white light in front of me. And that's why we're looking quite dark but also I've not blended, so 
and I'm not the kind of person that gets like a tiny tiny brush to do the sides of my nose like I said I just do what what is comfortable for me and that is just doing it like this so you know I'm not doing it to, to change the shape of my nose I'm quite happy with the shape of my nose um, yeah so as you can see that's dulled down quite a lot and then we're doing powder over the top still so does take off the edge of that colour but it just sets in those basic um, basic shapes. Before we do any further, um, going back to lips, this is the MAC Prep and Prime um, lip and it's just kind of like, I don't know, a, a solid primer for lips. So I just always pop a bit of that on. I just find that my lip products go on a lot better when that is used. It's almost like a lip balm. So I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour matte powder in ivory and I'm just going to use um, the Real Techniques multitask brush. I'm just going to powder my face. So I do have oily combination skin so I do get quite an oily t-zone um, but this powder so far has combated it really well and has um, kind of reduce the amount of oil that comes through on a daily basis. I don't find myself touching up as much as I would, which is obviously really good. But I'm still on the hunt for that perfect foundation powder duo that's going to completely stop all the oil, but I don't know if that exists. So as you can see, like the contour is not so harsh now. But yeah. I really like that and you can see that I'm not as shiny anymore so next we're gonna go on to eyeshadow so this is the um, Maybelline's the nude palette and I'm just gonna go in with um, this I don't know the color of it but it's quite a light beige I've hit pan so if you can just see I'm sorry if it's hard to see but if you look at a picture of the nude palette it's the third from the right on the top and I'm just going to pop that just on the inner third of my lid there. So I'm just quite in light beige basically, like a light beige nude because I want this eye to be quite natural. And then we're going to go in with the Deluxe Crease Brush and we're just going to put the second in this like taupey colour in the crease. This one's getting quite like a neutral colour and I'll blend it out in a second. Don't panic. And then we're going to go um, with this kind of shimmery nude down the bottom here next to the black just and do the rest of the lid with that. So as you can tell it's a really really nude lid basically a bit of taupe in the crease so it's something there but it's not it's not dramatic I'm gonna sort my brows out real quickly so I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brow brush and I'm gonna go back into the Maybelline nudes and I'm just gonna use the second oh, the second color in here which is the one that I use for my crease and I'm just gonna use that to do my brows so I don't know how well I can do this on camera I don't think I've done my brows on camera before. I might have. I don't always do my brows. It's not something I always do for every day. But I just thought to give them a bit of shape today. Just kind of going for the bold accents then. Why not? Right, now we're going to do a liquid liner. I'm not sure how well this is going to out on camera but it's the Rimmel's waterproof exaggerate liner this is the liner I use every day without fail there we go so just a bit of a cat eye gonna go in mascara before we get to the main attraction so this is the Maybelline's the falsies push-up angel mascara I really like the formula but I'm not so keen on the brush Like it takes a lot to kind of 
learn how to how to hold it because obviously the bristles are only on one side but I don't know I quite like how it works like it does grab a lot of the lashes and I feel like it does open up my eye quite well so that's how the eyes are looking so now we're on to the lips which is the super exciting part so I'm using the uh, Maybelline's lip pencil and this is in brandy red So now we're on to the star attraction. This is the Unique um, Splash Liquid Lipstick in Sizzling. And we are now going to apply this all over. So I'll zoom in a little bit more. I get really nervous when applying things like this. So this is the finished look, as you can see, really nice dark like ruby red lips and just really nice bronzed face and a really simple eye. Um, I absolutely love this lipstick, it's so like satin smooth, it's not drying at all and as you can tell it's really matte and I really like this colour suited with my quite pale skin but sometimes quite bronzed and black hair I just think it really suits um, just my complexion and it's a really really true red and I absolutely love it so if you do enjoy this please go and give it a try with your own products and let me know on Twitter in the comments on Instagram if you tried it and you loved it and go and have a look at the unique range it's really really great if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe i post new videos every thursday at six o'clock and new blog posts every monday at seven all the links are down below and until next time 